What's up guys? So we finally got the Android 12 update for the OnePlus 7 Pro here. Classic smartphone, one of my favorite phones of all time. Um, and um, yeah, the update has been working pretty good so far. So I just wanted to just revisit the phone real quick. Um, but this update took a super long time, way longer than I, I thought it was going to take. Um, so just to confirm, we are on the Android 12 update here. And one of the things that I would do first on this phone is go and boost the RAM up. Because if you have a 6 gig version, I would definitely boost the RAM up um, on here. And um, if, you, if you have a higher version, that's fine. Uh, but we have a visual overhaul uh, essentially here. So one of my favorite things about this update, and if you guys want to see a feature video on everything, then I'll, I'll make it separate. But you'll just notice a visual overhaul. I really like the launcher now or the app drawer you can see now the icons fade when you're looking for something so it shows you T U. I really like that so it sort of highlights it for you I really like that um, also when you swipe down from the right now OnePlus pretty useless page uh, I don't use this at all uh, but this used to be on the left side but now Google Now is here now which is something that I really like so I always use Google Now just to check on games and you know flights and whatever uh, news and stuff over here so this is extremely useful for me so this wasn't here this was here uh, in place of Google Now so I'm glad that they got rid of that I don't like that they put this here I, I kinda wanna take it off because I'm accustomed to swiping down right here now you have to swipe down like you have to do a double you have to do like a double swipe down. I don't like that. Um, or you could do a one swipe down from over here. Um, so, I mean, I just don't like, this is not useful to me, the, the other one. Um, as far as your dongles, I mean, not dongles, but as far as your toggles, you know, pretty much the same. So it's not like a crazy update where there's a ton of stuff. OnePlus throws in a ton of their, um, you know, features and stuff like that. Uh, I would go into battery, advanced, Turn high performance mode off um, if you don't really need it to save battery life. Since these, since nine times out of ten your phone's going to be older like mine's, you want to save battery life, optimize battery, and all that good stuff. So make sure you turn all the stuff on. And um, yeah, it's just a visual overhaul essentially. They fixed a lot of the animations. It's way less stuttery. Um, as as the years went on, I noticed with Android 11, the phone was a little bit like stuttering a lot. With this Android 12 update, everything seems to be a little bit quicker. Animations are a little bit quicker, so it really feels like almost like a new phone, essentially here, which is something that I really really like. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy about performance because I was worried since this is the last major OS update for this phone. This phone will get three years, two or three years of security patches, and then it'll, it'll be done. Um, so I'm really happy that this update is not terrible um, so far. I do have my SIM in here as well too. Um, so I was really like actually using it um, just to make sure. And it seems it seems like really, really well well done here. So I do really like that. And like I said, um, not too much going on here. But a personalization. You can see there's just like small little overhauls and stuff like that. Like I said, not too much has changed uh, with this update. Very small stuff. Um, on here, but I really like the 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 UI change here. It looks more modern. It looks cooler. It doesn't look as outdated, right? So I really do like the design update um, on this phone. So one of the reasons why I keep the Seven Pro around is because of this beautiful screen, guys. You know, it still is a futuristic phone based off the fact that. It has a no notch, no punch hole display. That's always what has gotten me with this phone. Just a very immersive experience when watching content, playing games, especially playing games. You really notice it more playing games because you don't always zoom in on videos. But when you're playing games like Subway Surf or you know whatever in full screen, um, it just looks awesome. Like no interruptions, there's no hole to look at, there's no notch to look at. It's really, really cool. And like I said, the OnePlus 7 Pro is actually a good gaming phone. You can actually play PUBG at 90 frames on here. It looks amazing on this screen as well too. It's a big screen at 6.7 inches. It's 1440p, very high uh, sharp PPI on this phone. So everything just looks crystal clear. And it's just a stunning display, guys. Absolutely love the display on here. So one of the main reasons 
uh, it's able to do this is because of the pop-up selfie cam. The pop-up selfie cam has never gave me any issues. I think it's been, what? It's been a few years since I got this phone. Never had an issue with this. It still works just as good as day one. Not only that, but I recently turned off the face unlock for the pop-up cam. So I used to, every time I open the phone, I used to have the pop-up cam pop up. So I've never had any issues with the pop-up cam. So I'm saying, man, we need to bring the pop-up cam back. There's no real issues with it. I know companies don't like moving parts, but man, it's just worth it to have a screen like this. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about some of the other things that I know some people have questions about. Battery life has not changed at all. Like I said, you really want to turn those battery optimizations on simply because you have an older phone, so the battery is going to depreciate. So I would turn those on. Battery life is still pretty much the same for me. I can pretty much get close to a full day of battery life out of here. It still charges fairly fast as well, too. Uh, you can get up to... I, what is it like 30 watt charger yeah 30 watt charging speeds on here so it charges you know reasonably fast um as well the fingerprint scanner also this is a new animation this is not the default one i had it's a new animation or it's a new look but you can change the you can change the fingerprint animations back they have a, a few of them it's still very fast i don't notice anything with that uh the speaker quality on the 7 pro is still pretty good for the most part, like I said, having other phones, it's not the best, um, but it is still pretty good. So I want to let you guys hear it. Check this out. So now with Android 12, look at this. For people who one hand phones, Look at this. Boom. Strings all the icons to come down here so I can open them without using, because you guys see I'm using two hands with this phone. Naturally, I'm, I'm used to using two hands with this phone, but now if you want to get to stuff, like it, it is a little bit of a stretch, but, and then you just sort of drag your, where you want it to go. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, also, Snapdragon 855 on here is still top notch. Watch my gaming test. This phone is still super smooth. With a 90 hertz display on here, it still feels ultra, ultra smooth. When scrolling, like I said, it feels super responsive. I really, really like the speed on here still. It still feels like a newer phone to me, especially with this update. Like I said, I noticed a bit of a speed improvement. Let me guys, let me know if you guys notice uh, any type of speed improvement on here as well too. Um, as far as the cameras go, the cameras I haven't really noticed anything. Uh, I haven't really noticed an update in image quality or anything like that. It's rare that an update would help. Um, I think the cameras are as good as they're going to be. They've been getting updates and they've been sort of, you know, working out the camera software. And it takes pretty good photos. Um, like I said, I did a revisit of this phone not too long ago. It takes pretty good photos for an older flagship phone and good lighting as always. You're going to get some pretty good shots out of this phone for sure. Um, yeah, like I said, I have no issues with it. It's got a triple camera setup as well. It takes, it, like I said, it takes pretty good photos uh, for the most part. You've got your ultra wide and then you've got your three times zoom on here as well. So you can get a pretty good shot out of the 7 Pro for sure here. Um, but as far as the camera application itself, like I said, it's not too much. I know they changed some things with the pro mode. Um, but um, it's not anything that I think normal people would care about. Not anything that I would care about personally. But if you guys want to share that down below, uh, be sure to let me know. But um, yeah, so far I'm liking the update. The main thing I was looking for was did it affect battery life? The answer is no, um, which is a good thing because battery life is already pretty decent on here. So that's good. Um, also, um, did it affect speed? The answer is yes. I think animations are a little bit quicker and smoother. I think the phone is a little bit more snappier. I'm not getting as much lag on the 6 gig version, right? And um, yeah, everything still works fine. There's no major flaws with this update, which is very good to hear. So I think it's safe to update to this phone. I uh, haven't noticed any issues so far. Um, but yeah, be sure to let me know. How do you guys feel about this update? Did you get the update yet? How are you guys feeling about it? Let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one.